Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the 31 days of Halloween where I post a new tutorial every day in October. For today's tutorial, I am doing this sunflower skull. She's pretty creepy and actually a recreation of something I did last year, so let's get into it. I'm just gonna start off by blocking out my eyebrows with a glue pencil. Um, I basically like to brush them upward and then I use a spatula to kind of spackle on some extra glue. Then I just set my eyebrows with some powder and that's about it. Now I'm taking my Graftobian body paint and I mixed white and yellow. It turned out a little bit more yellow than white, but that's okay. And I'm just going all over my neck and shoulders. Here I am setting my eyebrows with just a little bit of translucent powder to make sure they're not like tacky anymore. Then I'm just mapping out where I want the teeth and eyes to go. Now I'm just taking that same body paint and filling in all the places that I didn't leave out for my teeth and eyes. Now I'm just taking a black body paint and going all over my lid closest to my eye. I, I want to keep the black concentrated closest to my eyeball and then as it goes out it fades to brown. Now just going over my neck because I decided it was a little bit too yellow with a little bit more white and yellow just to even things out I think I thought I looked a little bit like Pikachu now I am going over the black and going upwards with a brown body paint Now I'm just lining my waterline with this black coal liner. Now I am taking a black eyeshadow and setting the black body paint that I put on my eyes just to make it a little bit more even and make sure it doesn't look creased. Now I'm going underneath my eyes and doing the same thing. Now I'm taking a brown eyeshadow, a dark brown eyeshadow, and kind of blending the black into the brown. Now I'm going to start to outline the petals for my flowers. This I basically just do them one by one and leave a little bit of space in between when I go around the first time so that they're a little bit more even and there's space for other flowers in between each one, if that makes sense. Now I'm going in between each one and creating another petal. Now I'm going in for the teeth. 
I'm just taking this white pencil and kind of outlining where I want them to go. Now I'm taking some white body paint and this small thin brush and painting on the teeth. In retrospect, I wish I would have kept the teeth going a little bit further. They look kind of like a block to me, but it's definitely like an aesthetic decision. So you guys do what you want. Now I'm just using that yellow and white body paint and filling in all the places around the teeth. Now I'm going in and doing the little line in between all the petals. I'm not sure there's a name for that. I'm sure there is, but I don't know it. Now I'm taking brown body, I'm sorry, brown eyeshadow again and going in and kind of shading the beginning of the petals. Now I'm taking this bright, <laughs> this bright kind of orangish red eyeshadow. It's, I think it's Morocco from Makeup Geek and going around all the petals with that to have the petals, the base of the petals be orange and then they're going to fade to yellow. Now I'm taking my yellow from my Makeup Forever Flash Palette and going on the tippy tops of all the petals because I want it to be orange to yellow. Now I'm going ahead and starting to shade in between the teeth. Basically what I'm doing is taking a brown eyeshadow and going in between the tooth very like thinly and then shading in between each tooth at the top of it and kind of pulling outward. Now I am just blending downward and this is with a brown eyeshadow just to give it a little bit more dimension then going in and really defining the teeth with a black gel liner. This is where the teeth can get a little bit muddy so you want to be really careful and patient when you're going in between each tooth. Then I'm taking a little bit more of that black eyeshadow and putting it in between the tooth and blending upwards. Now I'm going to outline my cheeks. I am taking a brown eyeshadow once again and kind of just outlining where I want them to go. Now taking another brown eyeshadow and going on top of my forehead to shade and give some dimension to my face so I didn't look so flat. Now I'm really defining that line with a dark brown eyeshadow. Then I'm going to start and pull that line downward to create a shadow. And of course, do the same thing on the other side. Now I'm drawing in my nose or getting rid of my nose, whatever you want to call it. Um, and basically just doing these two triangle shapes with a tiny little space in the middle and then filling them in with black body paint.
Now I'm going back over the top of my eyes and pulling the black a little bit further upward. I decided I wanted it to be a little bit higher up. Then I'm just taking a brown body paint and filling in the hollows of my clavicle, my, what is this called? Um, shoulder blade? No. Collarbone. Sorry guys. It's been a long day. Anyway, so I'm just going in between all the hollows of that and shading. This is kind of optional. I decided that it would give it a cool look, so. Then I am taking that brown eyeshadow and putting it darkest at the very top of my neck and then pulling downward and creating kind of an ombre effect. And that's it guys, thank you so so much for watching and please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe so you guys can see the rest of the 31 days of Halloween. I will see you guys tomorrow.